Tomorrow, tens of millions of football fans will be glued to their TVs for the Super Bowl. But that isn't the only big game this weekend. The Toronto Wolf Pack will play its first match in Britain's Elite Super League on Sunday. The rugby league team doesn't have any Canadians on the roster and it spends most of its time in England. So will it be able to connect with Canadians and grow its fan base? Here's Redmond Shannon. McCrone, McCrone goes out the back here to Meller. It was a crazy idea to start a transatlantic rugby franchise in Canada. Not in rugby union, a minority sport that most Canadians will be aware of, but in rugby league, the less popular 13-man game. When I first joined, I thought, no, it's not going to work. A transatlantic team, too much travel, other clubs aren't going to like it, but as a whole, it's been brilliant. After just three years of working through England's minor leagues, Toronto Wolfpack is now big time, playing its first game in England's Super League with a goal of sparking a rugby league tradition in Canada. That's the idea. Um, we're trying to expand rugby league uh, and North America, Canada, that has a massive talent and pool of talent from the NFL and the CFL. So. It's not too dissimilar, it's get a ball, run as hard as you can through somebody and tackle them as hard as you can. The team also has to tackle an expense bill unique in the league. Most of our players live here. We ship them to Canada for almost three months of the year in the summertime. And they love Toronto, but it, uh, logistically it's a, it's a lot of work. With no Canadian players on the team and a squad that's based mostly here in England, will Toronto sports fans actually connect with the Wolfpack? Chairman and former Maple Leaf sports executive Bob Hunter points to the popularity of a mostly non-Canadian Raptors team. It's Canada's only NBA franchise and has fans right across the country. So the reality is the fans, the sponsors, the city, the country want to see a winning squad. And if that takes 24 international players, um, then that's what the fans want to see. They'll also see one of rugby's biggest names, Sonny Bill Williams, brought in on the biggest contract in Super League history. Yeah, Toronto is, they, some people say it's the sporting mecca of the world, so um, if we can add our little five cents in there as well, it'd be special. The famously humble World Cup winner now at home in Toronto's Lamport Stadium. I'm pretty excited to get over there as a um, rugby player, as a rugby league player and see what it's all about. Um, the boys tell me that it's mayhem at the stadium. That mayhem will ramp up a notch in April for the Wolfpack's home opener. Redmond Shannon, Global News, Manchester, England.